Sagittarius, welcome to your bi-weekly love reading from January 15th through the 31st, 2018. Uh, <clears throat> sorry, my voice is about to go out on me today, but for your reading today, I'm using the Bonefire Tarot deck as my primary tarot deck. I'll be clarifying with the Chicoli Tarot Mini right here. And um, for those of you over on Patreon, I do a mini Lenormand reading at the beginning. And that just is to give you a little overview of, I, I would say, the highlight the highlight of the uh, mid-month reading. So what you can expect, uh, I'll show you your significator and what is influencing you for the middle of January, going into the end of January, of course. And then uh, I'm not doing any oracles at the end of the reading, just trying to keep it simple. But uh, that's not to say I won't bring back the oracle readings. I always love reading oracles, but oracle cards. But for the sake of simplicity, this is what we're doing today, so if that sounds good, let us get started with your reading. Sagittarius, this is your bi-weekly love reading from January 15th through the 31st for all Sagittarius suns, moons, risings, Sag is on the cusp, <coughs> excuse me, and Venus and Sagittarius coming down with something today, so I'm sorry, I apologize if my voice is not great. I've had about like 10 cough drops before recording, but doesn't seem to be helping. Spirit, what are the most important messages and energies that you have for the sign of Sagittarius with regards to their love, li <coughs> love lives, January 15th through the 31st, 2018? What do they need to know regarding their love lives? What are the most important messages and energies that you have for the sign of Sagittarius? <coughs> All my Sagittariuses that may be watching out there, Sag Sun, Sag Moon, Sag Rising, and Sag on the Cusp, and Venus and Sagittarius, what they need to know. What are the most important messages and energies regarding their love lives? What do they need to know regarding their love lives, Spirit, Jane Gray, <clears throat> 15th through the 31st, 2018? Okay. Feeling, feeling it. Don't worry if you can't see all the cards. I will uh, show them to you as we turn them over. Looks like everything's on camera. At the root of the situation, we have the King of Coins. Could be dealing with a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. King of Coins, very stable financially. Um, good manager of resources. Um, you know, time is of the essence for this guy. He's got his shit together when it comes to work, finances, managing the home, uh, very focused on money right now. Um, if you're dealing with someone like this, they could be a good provider. You know, they definitely bring back the bacon. Um, <clears throat> I'm definitely seeing Capricorn here. <clears throat> Capricorn, uh, Virgo, or Taurus, male energy. Underneath that, we have a chariot. There's definitely travel involved here. You may be on a, uh, a business, I'm saying a business travel, maybe traveling for a business, you may be on the road a lot, or you just have a lot of uh, wonderful momentum in your career. Now, either way, I'm also seeing like a traveling salesman, strangely enough. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and take a look at your cards. Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Challenge is a Six of Swords. There's another card of travel. Root of the situation, we have the Page of Cups in reverse. Crowning you, which you may be thinking or feeling, we have the Ace of Cups in reverse. Reason past, Five of Cups, Near Future, Three of Swords. Both of these cards are reversed. Okay, so you walk into the middle of January and it feels like things may not be going your way. This Wheel of Fortune in reverse, I've, I've seen it a lot. Um, I've seen it in plenty of readings and I've seen it happen in my life as well. So what this is kind of like, it's kind of like taking your ticket, putting it into the thing and it spits it back out. So this is just saying, uh, you need to be moving forward on your path, but you've chosen something that is not the right path for you. And if, uh, it will feel as though you're not getting anywhere, it will feel like you're spinning your wheels. So I'm actually seeing travel delays here. I'm seeing um, <clears throat> some bad luck, definitely. Uh, and this just may not be your luckiest day. 
all right? I would not play the lottery. I would not gamble. I would not, uh, whatever that lucky magic that you normally have on you, I'm, I'm not seeing it right now. So also that goes with love. You may not be getting lucky right now in love. You may not be lucky in love. That's, that's, that's just what I'm seeing. And believe me, I just call it like I see it. Uh, I'm not trying to embellish anything here. The challenge is the Six of Swords, which is coming up reverse. Your challenge is to move on from a situation. This is stagnation, right? This is treading water. This is not being able to move past something. Um, it is uh, basically being stuck, okay? And being able to move on psychologically. Okay, this could also be that you're having some travel delays. Kind of like I see someone trying to start a car. <laughs> it's not starting. You keep trying. Um, basically, it's just not happening, all right? Today is not your day. Maybe yesterday wasn't your day. Maybe tomorrow's not your day. And I don't feel like this is going to last forever. This is a bi-weekly reading, so just chill out. <laughs> um, at the root of the situation, we have the Page of Cups reversed. You could be dealing with the water signs. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. I'm just seeing disappointment here. It could be you received a disappointing message. It could be that um, someone turned down an offer of love. Uh, maybe take, took you by surprise a little bit. Um, it doesn't feel like things are moving forward, is what I'm seeing. Um, <clears throat> this is a small disappointment, not a major one. Um, it might have just made you feel a little bit sad for a little bit of time, but not for a long time. Um, yeah, I'm just seeing disappointment here in love. Uh, it could be a message sent to you, or you sent a message to someone else. Wah, wah, wah. In your past, you have the five... A five of Cups reverse, so this is getting out of something that's been very sad, getting over a grieving process. I'm also seeing someone who is kind of wallowing, wallowing in sorrow. Um, you know, you kind of find this person at the bar kind of crying in their beer, but it could also just be that you really were getting over somewhat. Maybe there was just <clears throat> a message, one last message here, or you were communicating. Uh, there's just been some disappointment here. It seems that let, yes, Sagittarius, today is not your day and things may not be moving forward as you would like, but I do see you getting over something here. It's been pretty painful. Yeah, your thoughts and feelings, you have the Ace of Cups reversed. This is about numbness. Yeah, it's about uh, feeling emotionally drained, feeling like there's nothing left here in terms of maybe emotionally. I'm seeing um, a message being turned down, or I'm seeing an offer of love being turned down. Uh, it could be a rejection in love as well. Uh, it could be with a, a water sign. doesn't really matter what sign. I'm just seeing that you're feeling, you know, emotionally, excuse me, emotionally drained and just, uh, you, um, you need to take some time to recharge your batteries, it looks like. <clears throat> Going into the near future, you have the Three of Swords reversed, and this talks about getting out of the memory of a painful love triangle. It's also saying that you could be breaking someone else's heart, Sagittarius, so do watch out. Um, the Swords are falling out here, which is going to take some time, but I see you getting over a heartbreak. The heartbreak happened in the past. Um, something may just be reminding you of that. Um, I do feel like... You need to take some time to heal. Take some time for yourself. Um, the Three of Swords is better in reverse, though. Uh, just make sure that you're not ignoring the pain and that you're fully processing all of your emotions and you're not repressing anything. Because it can come back later and you're going to feel stuck if you can't move forward. You need to say what you need to say. You need to process your, your grief however you need to process it. But... This whole reading speaks to trying to get over some kind of a loss here, all right? Um, something that's been disappointing, this wasn't moving forward, and um, you don't, uh, I don't think you want to stay, I don't think you want to stay in this emotional energy forever. I think you, you do eventually want to move forward. Okay, so let's go ahead and clarify the Page of Cups in reverse. Who is this page of cups in reverse? Well, we have the king of pentacles. So maybe you received a message from an earth sign. I'm seeing Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, specifically Taurus here. Okay, you may have um, 
or maybe you, um, this is the type of person, the King of Pentacles is someone who is very mature, a good manager of resources, they're very wealthy, very practical, very down to earth. I'm just seeing some disappointment with this person. This person was disappointed with you. <clears throat> Why is the Page of Cups coming up reversed? Why is the Page of Cups reversed? Who is the Page of Cups in reverse? Oh, we have the Queen of Cups. Well, I just feel like someone was in love here. Actually, I'm sorry. It's two kings. We have the King of Pentacles and the King of Cups. So it could be um, Earth sign, Water sign. Well, they both have your back to each other here. And I kind of get the feeling that, like, your head is saying one thing, your heart is saying another. Yeah. You have um, taken on so much emotionally uh, and so calmly that I feel like that that's why this is just a page of cups in reverse. It's, it's really not a big deal. Um, it feels like <clears throat> there was a disappointing message here. It could be from a water sign or an earth sign. And uh, what else? Page of Cups in Reverse. Why is it Page of Cups in Reverse? Seven of Cups. Now there was some confusion here. It was a feeling of like, well, maybe not really knowing what to make of this. Um, there's definitely a feeling of, of, so we have like Alice in Wonderland here and there's all these little rabbit holes. And um, that's why I sort of feel like this, is, this was kind of a surprise to you. And uh, it kind of maybe puts you back a little bit. You started thinking, you started dreaming, daydreaming, fantasizing, um, thinking about all these different possibilities. And maybe you just finally realized that you, you know, you're, you were disappointed. You, you, um, maybe in the past you had really been working on getting over this person and then they, they popped back up, popped back up in your life. Let's see, why is the Ace of Cups coming up reversed for Sagittarius? Ace of Swords, Eight of Cups. I do see some communication here. It was about walking away. It was about feeling disappointed, wanting something better for yourself. Um, wanting to be free, not wanting to feel like you're trapped, like a bird in a cage. Yeah, you, you, you were thinking about speaking your truth. And I think you did. Two of Wands. It feels like you have a choice to make here. Even though you feel like walking away from this person or this thing, this situation, you're confronted again with a choice. And you're looking at yourself in the mirror. And you realize you don't have to stay where you are. You can keep, you can move forward. King of Wands going into the future with the Three of Swords in reverse. Three of uh, King of Wands, Three of Wands, Seven of Swords. Um, the King of Wands is probably you, Sagittarius, or another fire sign here, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. I feel like you're waiting with the Three of Wands because in this card she's pulling petals off a, uh, a rose. And it's kind of like, they love me, they love me not. But I feel like in the meantime, you are... The Seven of Swords is about deception, strategy, mental tests. Um, I see someone waiting here, biding their time a bit, but um, walking away at the end of the day here. And, um, again, this is fire sign energy, and then we have the air sign energy here. So, I see someone kind of just sneaking off here at the end. Um, just be careful you're not breaking someone else's heart, Sagittarius. It feels a little bit like you were, um, waiting for a certain amount of time, but then you decide to leave. And um, I do see you, I do see this reading being about getting over a broken heart here. 
And uh, I'm also seeing prominently Earth sign energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, and water sign. Okay? So, I do wish you guys all the best, and I thank you so much for tuning in here. Um, if you'd like to book a private reading with me, I'm available to do those. Check the link below in the description. Um, I have many different reading types. Um, I hope that you guys are all doing well, and thank you so much for joining me, and I'll see you guys back in February for the bi-weeklies. Take care.